with the story. Aubrey. Hey, Gina. So here at Rocky and Carlos, they've been very busy all day. You can see them getting ready uh, for some more customers. But I spoke with the owner earlier today. Come take a walk with me. He actually says right now he wants to keep the occupancy levels. You can see it right here at about 75 percent, not 100. He wants to wait a little bit longer until COVID cases go down. There was a constant flow of customers inside Rocky and Carlos Wednesday. You have to sit back, relax, and go with the flow. Scott and Jesse Acosta feel safe and say it's time that capacity levels increased. But, you know, you got to be safe. Safe is the best thing. Being safe, you know, don't, we don't want to spread and get back to where we were. So, you know, slow opening is good, but it hurts the small businesses. And at this nail shop in Chalmette, they're going with 100% capacity. I work at Lowe's, so we're always busy. So I'm used to the environment, so not nervous at all. With uh, more occupants, like you could have parties at your house, like we're actually going to be able to all get together and have a crawfish bowl this weekend. And that has John Ram, the director of Homeland Security, concerned about a fourth spike. With the Eastern weekend, I think we'll see a little surge. So he is asking everyone to abide by the guidelines and stresses that the mask mandate is still in effect. As time went on, people started to comply and realized if they didn't comply, we would shut them down and we would take it seriously. And that's why the owners at Rocky and Carlos say it is crucial that everyone takes COVID-19 seriously so St. Bernard can bounce back. So another live look out here in St. Bernard Parish. And again, uh, speaking with a lot of people, this is a tight knit community. A lot of them say that they are going to take this seriously all throughout the pandemic. Uh, again, as so St. Bernard Parish, of course, can bounce back. Back to you.